effectively, we will be making a phishing scam attack through email. Um, so for the activity, we will be receiving a phishing scam on our email and we'll and I'll demonstrate on how to tell whether it is a phishing scam or not. And as well, we'll open up the link that will redirect us to a Facebook page and enter in some information and then we'll see where that information goes. So first of all, we'll open up our email account and we'll see that we got a Facebook customer service email and this email is asking us to confirm our login details. Now, see if normally this kind of email would go straight to your junk folder or your scam, spam folder. But uh, on this email went straight to my inbox. Uh, first of all, you can see that the email address it is real Facebook service at Hong Kong email service.ca. Now, Hong Kong isn't in uh, .ca Canada at all, so that's number one hint that the email isn't a real email. Uh, number two, you can check to see what the grammar is like. Down here, traffic spelt wrong, should spelt wrong, please isn't capitalized, so obviously there's some grammar mistakes in the email and a real email from Facebook there would never be spelling mistakes or grammar mistakes um, whenever there is a scammer out there they're gonna make it sound like there's a sense of urgency or they're gonna give you threats to try and do this and in the second sentence it says it wants you to confirm your details immediately before your account is hacked and disabled. Now, if this was the real Facebook email, they would never send threats to you like this. But this is a scam, so they're going to they're trying to get you to do it immediately so they can get your password. And lastly, if there's links on it, um, you can go to the bottom left corner while hovering over the link and see where the link is actually going to bring you. Now, if this was a real Facebook link, it would take you to Facebook. But uh, this is a phishing scam, so it's actually going to bring me to a different site that's probably going to look identical to the Facebook site. So we'll actually click on it. And this is... A Facebook page that I made up and I put it in the email to make it look somewhat real and for this activity we're gonna enter our uh, email address and we're gonna put a password and our password is going to be Frederick123 and as well, before you click log in, you can look up here in the top left in the address bar. You can check the site information, and this is also another reason why you should not click log in, because it's the site isn't secure. If it was secure, to be a display HTTPS, but uh, this site isn't secure. But uh, we're going to click log in and see what it does. And it's going to say, thanks for confirming your details. You can click here to log in to Facebook. And this link will actually bring you to the real Facebook page. So now we're going to see where that information went. Since this is an activity, I made my own database to put all the information into. So we can go down here to user logins. And we can see it got my email address and my password, Frederick.